Hey, deserving listeners, 90 Day Diaries. Let's watch. Look at this. Tom has met a new person and they've been dating for a while and she is from Vegas, he is in England, and now he is proposing to her. And let's see what she says. And she's saying, I can't do that right now. Okay, so I don't know what the reason is, of course, but it's fine. She, I think it has to do with kids and her own kids. And she was saying earlier that she's worried that he doesn't really know the real her because they see each other on these trips when she comes out there or when he comes to the States. And so she really wants to make sure that he knows the real her, uh, which is a wonderful goal because so many times on the show, we see the results of the fact that it's video conferencing and long distance relationship from the beginning. It's to the point where they don't really know each other and they discover the real person down the line after things have uh, progressed, you know, quite a bit after having kids, being married, this kind of thing. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. All right. So she's saying, I'm sorry, I'm crying. And he says, it's okay. So it's good that for Tom, he's not getting defensive. The other thing is, I'm pretty sure, because these are the diaries, which I think means they film this themselves. So they think they have to, you know, set up the cameras and all that kind of stuff. And he could have said, I didn't, I didn't get any footage of the, the failed proposal. So presumably Tom uh, signed off on this being out there, which, you know, uh, some people I think might not be comfortable with that. I don't, I, don't even, I don't even really have words to explain how I'm feeling, to be honest. I just feel numb. I feel like I made a mistake. I feel foolish. I feel hurt. Yeah, and this is part of the problem with the traditional proposal where you don't talk about it beforehand. Most couples, anecdotally, for in my life anyway, there's there's a conversation, you know, or at least hints of like, so do you think we might get married soon? Or maybe you have a couple glasses of wine and you let it come out like, oh, you know, I was thinking about getting a ring, you know, and then you get some sort of lay of the land before you actually ask in person or, or officially. So he's asked officially and, and he did say, I didn't show this, but he didn't know that there was a chance she would say no. He didn't really know what she would say. Um, but yeah, he's numb, he's hurt. You know, it makes sense. For asking, because I, I love Mariah, so that's not changed. Well, it's not a no, is it? It's not. It's a nice ring, though. Yeah, Save it for a rainy day, or just take it back and buy myself a car. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so she's saying it's not a no and save it for later, meaning maybe or definitely we'll get married at a later time. So hopefully they can have more of a conversation around this so they can understand why she doesn't want to get married right now, what the timeline might be or what the considerations are. I feel bad uh, because Tom's always asked me, where do I fit in into the equation? And I really don't know. As for my boys being a priority, um, they're both in high school and they are my priority. And I don't know if I've made the space for anyone else. And so I don't know. Yeah, and this is something that a lot of single parent, or, you know, divorced parents will have to consider. It's a, it, it, there's a lot of considerations, right? And sometimes on the show, they will try to figure that out, like with Jimena 
meeting Mike and that kind of thing. You could argue that that was too soon. But uh, for her, I don't know if she has had those introductions between Tom and the kids. And, you know, the kids are, in, are teenagers. This is another thing to think about that a lot of parents in her position will think of is, well, you know, they're almost at college. They're almost out of the house. So maybe... I wait just, you know, it's just easier if they're out of the house and then we can get married, we can move in together. There won't be any disruption to the kid's life, that kind of stuff. So, you know, those are, you know, those are pretty common considerations. Would it be unhealthy for them to get married and have him move in? No, not inherently, but it, it certainly makes it less chaotic, less disruptive if she waits. I don't know if it's the right thing or not. Is the woman come to Vegas? Yeah. Even after the uh, the maybe, um, I still want to be with Mariah. I still want to get there. And good for her. So many people on this show just, you know, head go headlong into marriage. You know, we could think of Jimena. We could think of um, Memphis. We could think of others who, it's hard to know if it's wise or unwise. We could think of Darcy, actually. It's hard to know if it's wise or unwise because, you know, I'm not there. I, I don't know. But uh, it certainly stands to reason. And I think most people actually act, or at least anecdotally, do what she does, which is just like, well, you know, there's no, I'm not desperate to get married. Our relationship is good. Um, I, I really like the fact that things are going well with my kids. And I just, you know, I know that you're kind of, from Tom's side of things, he might be kind of, the the loser, if you will, of the equation because he doesn't get as much contact with her as maybe he wants. But, uh, you know, I, I see a lot of people making the decision that she's making, which I think is, you know, wise. But we do need to figure out exactly what it is we're going to do from now on. All right, well, that does it for that episode. Everyone out there, please take care of yourself because you deserve it. You really, really do.